Hello everybody What we're seeing now is The hull of The Nikon S The shutter is bad on my camera so I will have to take this out Probably by tonight I guess This is basically a copy of the Zeiss Contax camera with the exception of the Leica shutter type mechanism. Okay, so this thing is the shutter speed selector and as you know this thing also cocks the shutter when you want to do double exposure just like this turn it wait turn it all the way to the left you know what it's really so hard to do stuff when sitting in a very awkward position so now it's charged click the sh you activate the shutter and that's how it works so let's go underneath okay here are the important parts you see this thing one and two I took a silver marker and made these marks for my reference later so I know that <clears throat> so I know which one to adjust for the front and back shutters so there you go I'm pretty sure that the Pentax cameras are not too different from this I've seen them before take a look at that simplicity is beauty eh? And this is the cam. This here is the start cam. And this thing is an escapement. Okay, so where's the shutter? Here, okay, so let's cut the shutter and charge it. Oh boy, it's really so hard. Maybe I should consider buying a GoPro. So take a look at this. Yeah. See, this is what happens when you cock the shutter. Yep. See? See how the escapement locks the start cam. And let's activate the shutter. This will release the start cam. There you go. As you can see, this thing is in a pretty bad state, but otherwise still okay, I guess. Yuck, disgusting. <clears throat> Whoops. This is basically useless. There you go. Okay, while we're on it, I'm gonna show you the rangefinder assembly. I kept it somewhere safe so that it won't get damaged. So the let me get something use as a pointer so let's use a toothpick if I'm not mistaken 
This one is the vertical cam, the vertical cog. So you have to loosen this little lock screw a bit so that you can free this. Then you just move this part ever so slightly up or down. Once you're done with that, lock it back again and then you mess around with another cam this thing over here this one is the horizontal adjustment for the rangefinder there's a spring and this is the one that gets coupled to the lens so every time you focus in and out it goes like this infinity the closest infinity minimum focus distance infinity minimum focus distance and it moves this mirror over here you see all these lots of tiny screws right don't ever bother with it don't even think about opening this thing and cleaning it you're in for a hell of a time you might not even have the proper tools to put it back to proper factory spec anyway that's it for now I hope you enjoyed it Let's go back to the safe place with the other lens elements. Okay, hope you enjoy it. I'm making more and more videos now. Well, I would like to make videos all the time, but then it's gonna be difficult for me because I have to upload it and stuff. I don't have time for that. Anyway, thank you. Bye bye.